Hi Stampers! It's Tina Shaw from TinaLovesToStamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Fairborn, Ohio. You can follow me on my blog and sign up for updates and my newsletter, which I have another one coming out very soon. Um, and I would be delighted to be your demonstrator if you currently do not have one or if you don't have a demonstrator and you would like a catalog. The new upcoming Occasions Catalog will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So um, you can contact me through my blog. That's at tinalovestostamp.com. Today I have this cute little um, candy cane holder. And I cased Sam Donald on this one. And I just thought it was super cute and just a really cute little gift to give like your grandkids or your kids, co-workers, neighbors, um, you know, even in place of a Christmas card, I guess you could even, you know, put something on the back if you wanted to. But it was just super easy and just takes a couple minutes to make. So um, let me go over with you what we've used. I'm using Just Jade cardstock because I thought it matched the green in the uh, candy canes. These are Brock's candy canes. And I think I got these from Drug Mart. Um, I think you can get them at the grocery store as well. They're everywhere, wherever they have Brock's candy. So um, this piece of Just Jade is five by two and a half. And then I have a piece of the red velvet paper and you um you have to feel it it's just like velvet it's really really nice this one is four by two and a half so it's just an inch shorter than the just jade piece to punch these little pieces out right here and so all i did ahead of time was just punched out a little piece of white cardstock and then um, I've made a lot of these so um, I found it really handy I didn't have to use glue if I just took the piece of the velvet paper that I punched out from my other ones and I am just using this as a template on where I wanted to cut out this little um, punch the little label punch so I think that looks good you just want to try to get it even on both sides. So you're going to punch that out. And then you're going to flip it over to the other end and do the same thing. And just, oh, I don't know if that's like three quarters of an inch up from the bottom or so. And then just again, just lay it down and rub that down there. Try to get it straight first. And then you just put this in here punch and there's your little area to feed your candy canes through so what you're going to do is just fold it in half right where the little center of each punch out is at like that and then you're just going to take and fold it the other way just right at the edge of the punch line there and do the same on this end okay so there's that piece and this one and then I'm just going to take this piece and put it on my background piece I want to stretch it out just a little bit and I'm going to use my silicone mat and then I'm just going to put on my uh, seal. You could use the uh, seal plus if you wanted to but I found the seal holds it perfectly well. Okay, so I just put a couple of strips on there and now I'm just going to try to get this even from the top to the bottom. Got a little piece of tape on there. You just want it um, enough, raised up enough that your candy canes will slide through the holes. This one has a little curve. 
crooked right there okay so then you're just gonna take a couple of your candy canes and I didn't like the way these looked on the bottom so I actually took and taped these down you don't have to do that if you don't want to then you're just gonna slide that through there and there and now I'm just gonna use a piece of scrap whisper white and I'm gonna take early espresso ink pad and I'm going to stamp the little deer that's from the festive post set right here and of course that's the one that has the postage rectangle postage punch that matches that one so I'm gonna stamp this right here and then I'm just gonna punch that out with my postage punch or you could call it postage stamp punch I guess like that and then I'm just gonna take this and pop it up using dimensionals onto that little red piece. Okay. Take off my backs. And then I just did this at an angle. And then I got the red rhinestones, the little red rhinestone jewels. And I just put a few of these on just here and there, just to add some bling. Right there. I originally did it on his nose, but then I didn't like it. So <laughs> I just wanted it like that. And then I cut off nine inches of the uh, braided linen trim in real red. And then I just tied a little bow tight and then I usually work it a little bit to get it the size I want it and then pull it nice and tight so it doesn't come apart and then I'm going to use a glue dot and just roll it a little bit put it behind the knot and then just attach it to the little punched piece and then depending on how long you want your little tails you can just cut off a little bit I'm gonna get that one a little short there we go and then there it is I told you it's just really easy quick and adorable so thanks for watching I hope you will try this it's super easy if you um are on my blog, you'll see that I do have uh, the video on there for you to follow. And um, make sure to sign up for um, or to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.